Now to the investigation that is underway into that midair scare for the first lady. Smoke in a burning smell filling the plane's cabin, forcing the pilots to turn around minutes after takeoff. ABC David Curley is at Reagan National Airport with the details. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Michael. The first lady staff and reporters had just taken off. A couple of Secret Service agents got up and moved to the front of the plane. And reporters were told to put wet towels over their noses and mouths if the smoke got too bad. This morning, we now know what caused the First Lady's jet to quickly return to Andrews Air Force Base. Whoever that is, the up here, I'd like to turn around and go back to Andrews. You can coordinate that horse. The issue was smoke in the cabin, a smell of something burning. If you listen closely, you can hear that the pilots of Mrs. Trump's jet have their oxygen masks on. Do you require any special assistance? No assistance required this time, thanks. Turns out, on the converted 757 jet called Bright Star, some communications equipment was overheating, causing that smoke. The crew shut off the gear and the smoke cleared, and they took off their masks. We've got the situation all cleared up now, but uh, we still want to go back to Andrews. The Air Force has a fleet of four of these jets to fly government officials. The average age of the jets, 18 years. Once this one was on the ground, the First Lady called the President before she boarded another smaller jet. I said, I hope this plane's better than the first one, but yeah, they had a problem. Yeah, they had a problem, but she's fine. And on the ground in Philadelphia, Melania Trump made only a passing reference to the smoky cabin. I'm sorry for a little delay. <laughs> These 757s fly high-ranking government officials, including the vice president, and occasionally the president, when Air Force One is too big for an airport he wants to visit. Michael? All right, thank you, David. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.